Hi, my name is Alicia Moy. I go to Gordon College and I study Christian Ministries and Biblical Studies. And I am currently a YECA Climate Leadership Fellow. As a little girl, I spent a lot of time indoors inside my house um, with my grandpa. Um, and I would spend a lot of time just playing. But every Tuesday, I will see, I'll peek outside my window and I'd see a garbage truck come by to, of course, pick up our trash and our recycling. But one thing always frustrated me about this garbage man, um, he, would, he would take our trash and recycling, but then he would leave it on the ground just like as if a storm came by. So I'd be very frustrated and I would like close the she, uh, window blind and I'd run outside and quickly pick it back up and put it like bring it back inside my house. That would describe um, much of my childhood where I started to get excited or interested in how, um, well, how, where our, my trash goes, where my recycling goes from this really s silly story. On one hiking trip, um, that I went with the summer camp. We um, were hiking, and this was my very first time hiking. Uh, there were bugs everywhere, and I'd be very grossed out by all the bugs coming towards me and all the things, all the sounds around me. Um, it was all very foreign to me, but at the same time, I really loved it. By the time we got to the top of our little hill, I looked out, and there was this sense of awe that I can't fully describe. So I am from the Boston area and up there I saw the Boston skyline and I also saw tons of trees um, and this beautiful scenery that I did not know existed in this area because all I knew was from my suburb um, of lots of country and not much nature. Um, and in that space, I was starting to understand and love creation um, and how beautiful it is. By high school, I felt that God was leading me to two different paths. Um, this first path, I was loving God and continuing to um, continuing on my faith journey of exploring what it means to follow Christ, what it means to love my neighbors. Um, and in high school, I actually sensed God calling me to be a missionary. And this was such a wonderful path that I was on. And at the same time, I was on another path that felt so separate, but I was also passionate about. I love creation. I couldn't reconcile the two. Like, how can creation or the natural world seem so much like a secular thing from where I'm from, where everybody w seemed to be obsessed with it, with hybrid cars, with Teslas, with solar panels everywhere, but not truly care for creation, truly care for the world and care, care for the people that climate change is affecting. And so, by college, these two finally met. In environmental ethics, my professor talked a lot about what does it mean for a Christian to care about life. As Christians, we are called to protect life. Life includes God's created beings like us as humans. Life includes um, plants, includes animals, includes lobsters, includes birds, includes soil, and all these things that I didn't consider before. And in this class, even though I got lost in a lot of the ethics or the philosophical thoughts that were too far above what I could understand, this is the one thing that I understood from it, that caring about life isn't about our own lives or as humans, but it includes all of God's creation. So my prayer is for the church to start seeing how climate action is part of sharing the gospel. And as a YECA fellow this year, I am excited to be part of this, excited to see how these two can come together.